up guys? Sean and Piper here. So I don't know if you can tell, but she is stoked. So am I because we're going camping. Uh, yeah, so we're going to the Sangre de Cristo mountain range. I can never say that word right. Uh, and we're either gonna be tent camping uh, or if the weather, the forecast doesn't look great. So if it starts raining and lightning and thunderstorms uh, over the night, what we're probably going to do is uh, just sleep out of the truck there's some awesome peaks to climb, some should be some good uh, photography up there. So, man, uh, I can't wait to show you guys. It's about a two hour drive from where I'm at right now. We'll see you soon. It goes round and round. In circles, but I'm still on the ground. It's a dizzying day. Or you go girl. Oh, she's distracted. Oh hi. What are you doing? Whoa, that's not polite. So I am in a little town called Westcliff in Colorado, getting ready to go grocery shopping just for the next couple of days. Started raining, cooled down to about 60 degrees, uh, but it looks like it's light lightening up a little bit. Hopefully the, the rain stops soon. Um yeah, we're getting ready to head up the mountain. This is kind of the last town before we get up there, so. Um, yeah, we'll see you on the mountain. Feels like I've been here a thousand years. Could you bring some light to me? Or just sit beside me? God, that road gets rougher every time. About two hours it took to get up here, but I gotta show you this view. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm either gonna sleep in my truck or uh, bivy camp next to this lake down here. Let me show you that. Pretty cool views. Here's Piper. Oh, so, um, it's a little cold up here. It's about 60 degrees. So I'm gonna change my clothes and I gotta eat something. And then, uh, yeah, let's go explore. Good girl, go play. I'm headed to a little pond, hopefully before sunset. Sunset's in about 30 minutes from now. I got Piper 
loaded up in the back. She's uh, all warm and cozy back there. Um, so yeah, so plan is I'm gonna bivy camp. I'll show you guys what a bivy sack is when I get down there, but it's like a little mini tent. Um, and I'm gonna stay in there tonight. Slight chance of thunderstorms tonight. I was hoping the clouds would clear up so I could shoot the Milky Way, but stuff happens. So I got to figure out how to get down to this lake. So wish me luck. Talk to you soon. Here I am. This is my this is my home for the night. I'll probably put my bag like right there. So. Let's get to work. Okay, I'm all set up. Wow, I was hoping for a good sunset. Uh, I had my camera set up. I was hoping to get a good sunset next to the pond. But uh, that did not happen. <laughs> it clouded up pretty good, which really sucks because I was gonna try to get, get uh, Milky Way, a reflection of the Milky Way in the pond. I think Piper's ready for bed. Get in there, Piper. You're probably wondering why I'm sleeping in this thing instead of uh, instead of my truck. One, it's an adventure, and two, I was hoping to uh, be taking night shots down here and uh, have easy access to where I'm sleeping. So you win some, you lose some. I don't think I'm gonna get anything. I might just go to bed. So I thought I was going to bed, but it is uh, about 10 p.m. and the clouds cleared. So I am shooting a Milky Way time lapse. And uh, God, there's so many stars up here. Some sunrise. I had, to, I had to scramble out of bed. Uh, I wanted to get some drone shots, so I jumped out of the out of the tent thingy. Here's Piper. I don't think I got much sleep last night, but it was it was a good night. This is where my camera was set up. So the Milky Way was rising right up over that mountain. So I pretty much had that thing running, uh, running all night. So the plan now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack up camp, head back up to the truck, eat some breakfast, and then figure out what I'm gonna do today. Um, I just realized as I'm walking back towards my tent, I must have been sliding. <laughs> Because this is a hill, and I feel like I almost slid off the hill. That would have been fun. Well, I will 
I'll talk to you guys in a bit once I figure out what the heck I'm going to do today. Last I talked to you guys, it was uh, yesterday morning. Shortly after that, it started raining, and it didn't stop raining until sometime last night. So Piper and I were stuck inside, um, which was kind of nice. Watched some movies and uh, did some some editing on the computer. Uh, but now we're ready. We're ready to uh, see what today brings us. Um, so what we're gonna do is this four-wheel drive trail that we came up. It keeps going up up the side of this mountain. I've never been up there, so we're gonna go check it out. Uh, got a small window before more rain hits today, so uh, we're gonna go check that out, maybe climb some mountains, hopefully get some good pictures. Uh, so yeah, let's go do it. Can we stay here for a week or so? Just watch the corn grow in the fields. I don't know what's on your mind, but I know that it's something about you and me I'll stay here for as long as I can Through the storms and through the call When you smile at me All right, guys. I it to the top. Begin. My bird in the truck I'll let her out here in a bit uh, Man, I just got up here and this awesome fog bank started rolling in over this mountain ridge. I think I'm about 12,000 feet. I was able to, this is off road trail. It took me all the way to about 12,000 feet. But look at this cloud bank. So it's just kind of rolling over the mountains there. Good pictures everywhere. Just let me get out the camera. Let's see in a bit. It just started raining again and it's not supposed to stop raining for like the next couple of days so we are going to head off of the mountain um, which means this trip's pretty much over uh, we had a ton of fun exploring I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it um, and if you did please comment like and subscribe and uh, yeah I'm gonna take you along for the next adventure too we'll see you next time